Hey guys, my name is Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com and today I'm building a bath caddy for my fiance out of a piece of walnut. So this is an example of a project where I don't really have a solid design in mind, just kind of a rough idea, so I'm going to have to figure it out on the fly. My idea is that I want to make it out of a single piece of walnut and have it kind of flow down into the tub a little bit rather than sit completely flat all the way across. So to get started, I've got this beautiful piece of walnut, which is just over six quarter or an inch and a half thick and about eight inches wide. So I'm going to take it over to the table saw and clean up one edge and then flip it over and clean up the other side as well. Next I'm measuring the tub width and the width of the sides so I can take the piece and cut it to length. I'm leaving it pretty long at this point because I'm really not sure what I want to do with the near edge yet, but the far edge will just dead end into the wall. Next I'm starting to lay out the lines for the shape. Since the piece is about an inch and a half thick, I've decided I can lay it out so that the piece that sits on top of the tub sides is about three quarter inches thick and then have it transition down into the tub on a 45 degree angle to the lower part, which will also be three quarter inches thick. This might sound a little confusing, but what I'm doing is making an elongated S shape that stays three quarter inches thick throughout and follows the contour into the tub. And I'm just grabbing my lens cap from my camera to create a radius I like to soften the edges. Next, I'm taking the piece over to the bandsaw to cut out the shape, but unfortunately, the clearance on my bandsaw isn't quite tall enough to cut the piece as is. So I've hit a little bit of a snag. I've considered taking it to the table saw and making a bunch of kerf cuts and then chiseling out, but I would lose a ton of material that way and it's a lot of extra work. So I think what I'm gonna do is take it back to the table saw and just make the piece a little bit thinner so that it can clear the bandsaw. Now this part is a little bit tricky, but I'm just taking my time and trying to stay just outside the lines as I cut out the rough shape. Now originally I was thinking I might make the near edge overhang the tub and kind of waterfall off the side, but I've decided to just let it overhang the tub a little bit and add a cutout that can be used as a handle or maybe a hanger for a washcloth or something like that. So I'm just cutting it down to length and then adding a radius on the corner to keep a nice smooth line. Next I'm laying out the cutout for the handle and using a Forstner bit to drill two holes. Then I'll use the jigsaw to connect the two holes to create the cutout for the handle. Now it's really time to just sand this thing. I'm spending a lot of time sanding it to remove all the saw marks and smooth out the surfaces, continuing with 80 grit and then up to 120 grit. Now initially I was thinking I was gonna add a lot of bells and whistles to this thing. I was gonna add a book stand and some cutouts for wine glasses and possibly some recesses for candles, all that kind of stuff. But after looking at it and the grain pattern and everything, I feel like it's just so interesting as is that to add all that stuff would just interfere with the, the overall look of it. So I decided to just scrap all of that idea and just kind of leave it a little bit more minimalist. And then next I'm using a quarter inch round over bit on the palm router to round over the edges. Because of the contour, I can't really go over the part that dips down into the tub. And I don't really want a full round over on the lower shelf anyway, because it'll make the shelf thinner. So I'll just knock down those edges by hand later. Lastly, I'm hitting the whole thing with 220 grit paper and touching up any necessary spots by hand before applying a tongue oil finish, lightly sanding with 500 grit between coats. And finally, the bath caddy is finished. Well, that's it for this episode. I love the way this build turned out. The minimalist look of it and the flowing lines is something I'm really proud of. And it's the first time I've used my bandsaw for a project like this. So I'm really happy with the result. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know. Also consider subscribing to the channel. I post new content all the time. If you wanna check out more of my woodworking and home improvement videos, I'll post links to those right here. Or you can always visit my website at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.